In this video, we will look at how to prepare your models before importing them into Substance 3D Painter. You should already have a base understanding of modeling and UV unwrapping. If you want to catch up on that, you can watch this video first. When working in Painter, you split your models into various parts to make the texturing process easier. You can split your model using texture sets, geometry masks, and ID maps. Let's learn what these are and how to use them. When you import a model, Painter automatically splits the model into texture sets based on the materials originally assigned to it in your previous 3D program. The name of a material becomes the name of the texture set. Texture sets are the main way to organize your models in Painter. Each texture set has its own stack of layers and exports its own set of bitmaps. Think of them as multiple layered documents inside your Painter file. Texture sets need to work together with your UV layout. Because each texture set is an individual layout, your UV map should be packed for each texture set. That means efficiently grouping the UV layouts per texture set to get the most out of your UV space. You can then mask and split materials within your texture sets by using either geometry masks or an ID map. Geometry masking relies on subgeometry in your model. Keeping your model split in individual parts lets you use those parts as masks. You activate the geometry mask for a layer, then simply check or uncheck sub-objects from the list. Alternatively, you can use an ID map. ID maps are baked textures that contain data to make assigning materials easier. When your model has an ID map, you hold down control while dragging materials onto your object. This automatically assigns the material to a specific section of your model. You can create these maps in a few different ways, such as assigning vertex color data in your 3D application, or by baking maps using a second high poly mesh with different material colors for each ID section. Models don't need a full UV unwrap to successfully import into Painter. Painter has a handy Auto UV Unwrap feature to do this for you. Painter's Auto UV tools do up to three steps. Cut UV seams, unfold and flatten your cut UV islands, and pack the flattened islands into an efficient layout. Each step can keep the existing UV data that you made beforehand in your 3D application. For example, this mesh originally had all UVs stacked on one single layout. But after splitting it into separate texture sets, we can let Painter repack the UVs for us, so that we are using our separate UV tiles more efficiently. Now let's try this out in Blender. To split your model into different texture sets in Painter, you need to assign different materials to it in Blender. If your model is already divided into separate objects, simply apply a different material on each of them. Here, I'm changing the colors of each material so that we can easily tear them apart in Blender. But Painter will only use the name we give them to create the texture set. If your model is not made out of different meshes, go into Edit Mode. Here, select the parts of your model that you want to gather in one texture set. Then, in the Material Properties panel, click on the plus sign to create a new material. When it's done, assign it to your selection. Don't forget to give it a proper name to make your work easier in Painter. Repeat that operation for each texture set you want to create. You can then repack your UVs to make sure your texture set has the best density possible. There's two ways you can do this. You can either click the Pack UVs function in Blender for each texture set, or you can let Painter do it automatically for you. When importing your model, check the Auto Unwrap function. In the Option window, you can choose to recompute only the packing. 
Painter will then reorganize your UV islands following the texture sets that you've created in Blender. If you want to create masks or apply different material within your texture set, you can create an ID map using vertex colors. In edit mode, select the areas that you want to target. Then switch to vertex paint mode. Here, tick the paint mask option. Pick a color, then click on paint, set vertex color, or simply press shift K. In Painter, you can now bake an ID map for your model based on the vertex colors that you've just set. To do so, go to the baker and simply select the vertex color option under the ID tab. Finally, you can use the geometry itself to create masks in Painter. If you already have all the separate meshes that you need, then you can skip this step. If you want to divide your mesh further, simply go into edit mode and select the parts you want to separate. Then hit P on your keyboard and choose the method that is the most suited to your needs. Same as with the texture set method, don't forget to give clear names to your meshes. You can now use those subparts in Painter to create additional masks during your texturing work. And that's how you prepare your model in Blender to make the most of it in Painter.